Ooh-wee. All right, all right. What's going on, party people? This your man, Grill. Great old Sunday morning here. Um, I only, oh, 9.32 in the morning. Just finished the closing. It was a 9 o'clock one. Got that all taken care of. Um, it was a hybrid. Hybrid, so when they do an e-sign, they electronically sign certain portion of the documents, and then you finish out the rest with them face-to-face. -face. <clears throat> they had about 92 documents, 92 pages. All to, what am I saying? 91, take out the um, shipping label. So 91 pages they signed and all of that. But at the same time, I'm, I'm waiting on a signer to hop on for this um, Ron closing. Well, not even a Ron. I mean, a closing. It's a power of attorney. And sometimes you can have situations where you're trying to do the online and the person doesn't move very, very fast. Um, and they have difficulties getting, you know, getting on the session. Now, right now, what I'm thinking, I'm thinking that the issue may be that they probably don't have the proper ID credentials to go through the um, ID verification, which I always send out an email explaining all of that. And sometimes individuals will they won't pay attention and they don't realize that it's actually saying you need to have a social security number, driver's license, U.S. phone number, which they have a U.S. phone number. Um, and then they have to, and then the other issue is they have to also answer questions about their, you know, to verify their ID. And sometimes they don't pass those questions, you know, but right now the person hasn't even started the process. So, I don't know what's going on. I've been work, been waiting for like an hour and a half, really two hours. So you're talking about two hours I've been waiting. And um, I don't know what's going to happen or when it's going to happen. Fortunately, since, you know, I'm using Dot Verify, I don't know about the other platform, but I can do this on my phone. So if I get the email that they pass ID check, then I log on. Um, the only quirky thing is I have to be in Virginia Beach because when I set it up, I said I was going to be in Virginia Beach as the county. So <laughs> that puts a little bit of a restriction on me because there were some things I was going to do today. But really what would happen is if something came up, all I would have to do is just drive back and get into Virginia Beach and um and dot verify can tell where you know when you you know what physical location you're at they have some kind of way to do that but that's what i got going on um great fritter friday thank y'all enjoyed myself um i tell you um jessica did a wonderful job sharing her experience i hope that encouraged many of you if not all of you that this business is very doable um last night i was doing some training with the members and uh, we had a great time helping one of the members. She's about to go full time in the business in a couple of months. So we was going over some goals and some things of that nature. Um, then the next session we did, talking to one young lady, she was just sharing with me how, now I'ma tell y'all, she's out in Montana. Y'all ain't got no complaining to do because all of her orders are sometimes two hour drives, one way. You know, because she's so she's in such a rural area and she's probably a little bit older than me and she's out here doing it. She is doing I think she works a regular job also, but she's out here doing it. And for a lot of you youngsters, y'all complaining about these drives. This is what she does on the regular, you know. And not all of her jobs are paying $150, $200, you know. Every now and then she'll get a higher fee one, but for the most part, you know, they're running about what I'm getting, but she's out there doing it and making her money. And she's doing about maybe up to 40 a month. So I'm inspired by her. You know, I'm inspired by hearing what she was sharing with me last night. And there's just no excuse you know we have to just get out there and do it and each area is different and she's doing it she is doing it i'm sitting here she told me where she's at i looked on the map i'm like see what she got to drive to i'm like yeah 
yeah, you, you do your thing, lady. You do your thing. Much respect to you, you know. So, um, y'all just got to get out here and do this thing and make it happen, you know. Uh, I know I know many of you have had some tough parts in your life or going through some tough stuff even now. I know many of you just want something that's easy and just relaxing, something that no-brainer. But unfortunately, that may not be the case depending on where you live at with this notary business. I know many of you want to just hop over and I'm going to just do e-notary. That again, may not necessarily be the case because when you have somebody who has you waiting basically two hours for them to even start the ID verification process and they're 10 hours or 12 hours of, you know, ahead of you or behind you in time zone, you know, hours, it is, you know, yeah. And yeah, so this is a part of the business and those people, the people who I see out here and that I've talked to that understands the flow of the business, that's not afraid to work, that didn't buy into the hype or they bought into the hype at one point, but then they realized, okay, the hype was a bunch of hype and they moved away from it. Those people are doing good in this business. So, you know, hats off to y'all. I salute y'all. Y'all are doing great. And my hope is that the rest of us, the rest of you out here, who are still floundering around like a fish out of water, you know, over every little issue, this and that and that and this, that you grow up mature and realize, you know what? Let me just work this business first. Let me work it and, 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 and see what happens. But if you're not in a point in your life where you want to put that kind of um, level of effort out, it's understandable. It's, it's truly understandable. As always, I just ask that you do not sit here and make other people feel bad about the level of effort they're willing to put in here. If you don't want to do it, then you say you. But don't try to rally people and and get people with tiki torches and running around talking about we ain't taking this no more no nah, you, you you stand on your own business and let them stand on their business and everybody will be fine because we're all independent business owners you see what i'm saying and y'all know this so if you know what you live and you know that we're not a conglomerate you know that we're not a um a union and all of that then live what you know Go out here and do what you know you need to do for your own, and you'll be fine, you know. So this afternoon, um, Sunday, what is this here, the 21st at 4 o'clock, doing our, um, another member's training session. So if you're a YouTube channel member, um, go to the community tab, and you'll see the link for the Zoom. Um, also, if you're not a YouTube channel member, just click the Join button down there. If you got an iPhone, you might have to click those little dots. Same thing with Android, turn the phone sideways. You'll see join, it'll be next to subscribe. And um, I'll see y'all at four. I'm gonna go home, eat me some breakfast and take these clothes off because I got dog hair all over me. Cool doggies, but ooh, that dog shed like a, I don't know what. Anything. So I got dog hair all over me and clean out my coat from the dog hair and all that good stuff. All right, talk to y'all later. Peace.